Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How the Ale. It's Friday night, which means it's alcohol free night and the beer we're going for tonight hails from Denmark uh, by appointment to the Royal Danish Court. It's this one. It is Carlsberg Zero. Uh, Car well, Carlsberg 0.0, .0 to be precise. It describes itself as low calorie as well. So for those of you who are on the uh, on the diet side, a bit like me at the minute, I need to lose a stone before I go on holiday. Uh, this is probably a route to go. It says on the back of the bottle, it's alcohol-free, not flavor-free. Uh, refreshing with a crisp, hoppy bite. Carlsberg 0.0, .0 is everything we Danes expect from a great beer. And it's alcohol-free. Schal. Carlsberg, probably the best beer in the world. Uh, your ingredients are listed as water, barley malt, uh, CO2, natural hop flavoring. Hmm. Natural flavors, hops, why have hop flavouring and hops? Why not just more hops? Anyway, Carlsberg have let me down a lot lately. Uh, they've been meddling in a lot of my uh, my favourite beer that they have acquired by their immense wealth, and it's not good. Uh, so I'm hoping that there is some kind of redemption for the Carlsberg brewery here. Not that they really care about my opinion as an individual, but I'm going to give it nonetheless. So I hope it's good. I do. I do. Um, otherwise, the only remaining good thing about uh, Carlsberg would be the fact that they have Mads Mikkelsen in their adverts, and he's a brilliant actor. If you haven't seen Hannibal, give it a look. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get on to the beer. So, we're going to pour into my AF Beer Club glass tonight. The pour is... Lager-like. It's a good colour. And it's clear. I've got one too many bubbles for my liking on the side of my glass. Two seconds. Ah, there we go. So your beer is clear. It's super clear. Golden, crisp looking. Pretty nice white head. Uh, visually, I can't knock it. I really can't. Bit of a whiff. Oh, okay. There's something to be said for keeping your beer on a shelf in a supermarket. I mean, it does things. Um, but it's in a green glass bottle. And it smells ever so slightly skunked. That could just be an immense level of hop flavourings. Uh, we don't know. But otherwise... <coughs> I quite like the skunk smell, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it just emphasises the hops. Um, I guess I'm one of the rare ones who appreciates it, but... Yeah, it smells like a lager. So it looks all right. Head's dissipated. It smells all right, even though it has slightly, uh, to my nose, slightly skunked. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Body's all right. Medium weight. Good carbonation. First impressions of the flavour, the malt is really sweet, and it remains to be. It is crisp. It says there's a crisp hoppy bite. Where? Maybe not in this one. It's relatively well balanced if not a little sweet on the uh, the malty side. It's otherwise quite bland, which honestly doesn't surprise me with Carlsberg, but it's missing. It's missing that crisp bite. It's missing the, the slightly peppery nature that I used to expect from a Carlsberg. Um, it was never hugely peppery, but just a little bit of something it had back in the day. Uh, regular Carlsberg. I didn't never a fan of the export, um, but the alcohol-free Carlsberg is... Hmm, the finish is disappointing. 
So, uh, I'm going to give it some points in a second. But before we do, we're going to go see Aid Memoir of Untapped, which uh, says there have been 1,400 check-ins and an average of 2.75. Nobody I know who's tried it, at least they, if they have, they haven't recorded it on Untapped. Uh, so, let's see what I think of it. As always, I will be objective and honest and open, um, even if there are things I like and dislike. So let's pour it off again, just so we can revisit the visuals, which, honestly, I cannot really fault. It looks like a lager. It's clear. It's the right kind of colour. You've got a nice white head on it. Can't fault that, if I'm honest. It's going to have a point. The aroma, like I say, first whiff, it was slightly skunked. Come back to it now, maybe not so much. It's light, very light, quite sweet. Really not a lot going on at all, unfortunately. Um... I've got anything else I can smell, just to, uh, I know, two seconds. I just want to reset my nose. I've got some paintbrush cleaner somewhere in here. So I'm painting my little toy soldiers. Let's have a change of, yeah. Okay, that'll clear the snout. Let's have a whiff. Yeah, it's super light. To the point where there's nothing going on um but there's nothing unpleasant on the nose apart from that initial hit of slightly skunked hops and that faded so quickly um but there's really nothing going on boys and girls at carlsberg it doesn't even really smell massively like a lager but because there's nothing unpleasant and there is just a tiny hint of something uh, i'm gonna give it the 0.25 i'm being i'm being objective and honest Body, again, I cannot fault that. Uh, it's a decent body to it. Medium weight, crisp carbonation, nice feel in the mouth. Can't fault that, really well done. Uh, the taste, the taste, let's go back to it. It is, <laughs> when you come back to that first sip, you do get a hint of hops. It's the subsequent sips where they're gone. You've you've become accustomed to it so quickly. Apart from that initial hit, it's got a little bit of something, um, but otherwise it's really quite sweet. It's super light flavour, um, and you could call it inoffensive. Is probably the best way to put it. Um, but it's lacking all the things that I particularly like in a lager of any kind. Um, so I'm going to give it something for that initial taste of where you get a little bit of hop, a little bit of something that then just fades away into every subsequent sip. I'm going to give it the 0.25 again because it's passable. And the finish. It doesn't really do it for me, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there's none of that slightly grassy nature that I love in, in, a, in a good lager. There's none of that kind of, I want to go back in for another sip. And that is a shame. That said, it is clean, it's light, like a lager should be. Um, so I'm going to give it something. I can't give it a lot, though, because it's really lacking in a lot of ways. Um, give it the 0.25 again. So I've given it 2.75, <laughs> which is the untapped average. Uh, so it can't have the full bonus point. Value for money. I paid... £3.50 for four bottles, I think it was, in Tesco's. I'll put the correct price in the video description. Um, value for money on something that I don't particularly enjoy, I can't honestly give it. So I'm going to say no. Would I buy it again? I think we already know that. Uh, it's a no from me. So, uh, yeah, Carlsberg 0.0, .0 has got the untapped average of 2.75 out of 5 from me. So, yeah. Whilst I've had worse beers both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Uh, this is a disappointment um, compared to other big branded alcohol-free lagers. Stellar alcohol-free is better than this. Corona Zero knocks it into a cocked hat. Um, 
yeah, it's one of the, the poor end of the scale of the macro brewed alcohol free lagers. Uh, so it's not going to be one I'm going to buy again. Uh, and Carlsberg, you continue to disappoint me sadly. Uh, and it is true that the only good thing about your brand is the fact you've got Mads Mickelson in the adverts. So I don't know if you still have or not, but there we go. That's it. Uh, you say probably the best beer in the world. I was going to say, because if you took the word probably out, you would be, uh, yeah, you'd be in breach of various, various advertising standards. Anyway, I'm waffling and it makes me sound really bitter. It's probably because I am. It's Friday night and it's been a hell of a week at work. So uh, we're going to leave it there and say that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.